Oh, hey there, everybody. How's it going? Uh, another wonderful day off work, working. Yeah, this is my Husky LT4200 riding lawnmower. And we've got a situation here. That is my deck drive belt. And uh, it's just kind of sort of slightly misaligned there. Not quite lined up right. And if you look across the top of the pulleys, you can see why it's got that slight misalignment there going. This guide pulley is off just a little bit. So we get to take it apart and try to fix that issue there, put it back on. And uh, you see my little belt guides here. That's because the original plates that went over those pulleys to keep the belt from derailing um, came off. And when they come off, they broke apart. So I just took me a couple pieces of aluminum scrap angle iron that I had laying around. And bolted them on. They're a lot more strong than the originals. They keep the belt from coming off of my uh, blade pulleys but yeah that pulley right there is going to be a little bit of an issue to fix but we'll get it taken care of we're going to have to take the deck off of this thing and what I like to do whenever I take them off is get me a paper and pencil and I sketch out the mounts and where they're at and everything Makes it a lot easier putting it back together, and if I don't do that, then I take pictures or a video of how it's set up. There you go, you can see the uh, blade clutch cable back there, and uh, the tensioner spring on that, and then the rear deck mount. It's pretty straightforward. You pull this pin. And there's a pin on the other side you pull and you pull that front pin up there and you disconnect this rod right here and then you could take the deck out from under this thing pretty simple so let's get started tearing this thing apart and finding out what I need to do to straighten out that guide pulley now, removing and reinstalling these uh, clips are pretty easy. Just grab it up here at the loop with a pair of needle nose, pull up on it, and it slides right out. Putting it back on, you just stick it in the hole and give it a yank, and it snaps back in. No problem. Make sure you don't lose those. If you lose those, you'll be making a trip to Tractor Supply to get another one. Now, this rear clip back here... There's a, uh, instead of a pin, like you would think, it's actually a rod. And that rod goes up and across to the other side. And that's what raises and lowers your deck. So you want to make sure you put this in the correct spot. Whenever you put it back together. And make sure my shift lever, lever is tight still. And once that's off, I can lift it up out of the way, just like that. Now I can go over to the other side and pull that pin. And see about taking the deck out. Alright, now you can really see what we've got going on here with that bent pulley. But at this point, I like to have a look at how this belt is ran. This right here goes around the pulley on the other side. This goes up to the front and it goes around like there. Okay. So the original belt routing goes around this pulley behind this pulley 
and then it goes up front like that and that slack right there goes over and around the other pulley so you look at that it goes that way that way this is your drive up there and then the belt goes over that way around that one now let's take it off now, I'm having me a little bit of trouble getting my wrench up underneath here so I am gonna have to pry up on this and hopefully not break it or bend my pulley Which, that would actually be good enough to put it back together and run it, but this pulley has bent before, so I want to see if there's anything I could do to reinforce this. You got to make sure you note the belt tensioner, or the belt guide back there on the back what its position is. Alright, lost my grip on the head of the bolt there. And now I can see. All right, nothing's broken there, just bent, and it just folds that edge down. just this gets bent hmm. so maybe I could just weld me a plate back here that way I could still get to my nut but if I plate this off back here like with a piece of angle iron or something like that and then grind it off uh, that might help it to keep from bending again like that right, let's pick this up Just a grade eight bolt. Huh. Right, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing is welding me something in these corners so I can still get my wrench in there and get to the head of that bolt. And the extra support in the corners should help it from coming apart. I don't think it's cracked let's lift up on that a little bit and see what happens here no it's still attached it's not cracked loose or nothing okie dokie uh, all right well, we gotta detach this cable set up and spring in order to remove the deck so just pull back on that pulley and unhook that spring and then we can get the slack we need to remove the uh, engagement cable if you figure out how that attaches that's kind of a strange way of attaching it There we go. All right. 
So it's basically just held in with tension. It just, you got this piece that goes on the spring side. And then it just goes in and the tension of the spring holds it in. So whenever you remove that, you can just push on it, it pops out. And then you're dead. Just like that. And this is what that spring hooks up to is it engages the blades, it puts tension on the belt, and it goes up to your blade engagement cable up there. Well, initially I was going to cut me a couple of gussets to put in the corner. But then I found these two little short bolts that I could stick in the corners just like that. And those are going to make me some good solid little braces there. So what I need to do is clean up all this rust on here. And whenever I put my ground clamp on there, I can set my nut there, or my bolt there, and put the ground clamp behind it and use the ground clamp to hold it in place until I can get me a decent little spot weld on it. So. I'll just do something like that there. Push the bolt in a little better and then I can get me a good tack weld there and do the same on the other side. Tack weld that in and that should help to stop me from bending that pulley again and again because uh, about twice uh, two to three times a season um, I have to uh, bend that pulley back up because uh, sometimes my grass gets a little high I work a lot or it rains on my days off so I can't mow and it does get a little high uh, oh about so high sometimes and uh, I also have some areas that are pretty thick and it's kind of a strain on that so this will help take up some of that tension and hopefully solve my issue moved you guys back a little bit because you're not wearing safety glasses I am and we'll just clean this up That's okay, that's good enough. Now we can get us a decent little weld going here. <clears throat> uh, dust myself off. Step over that deck and get my welding gloves out. Get my welder switched on. By the way, uh, these gl gloves here came from Rogue Exploration, a good friend of mine. Check him out on YouTube, he's a great guy. Thank you again for the gloves and the arc welder. But we're gonna be using the MIG today. Hopefully it doesn't act up, it's been acting up. So, oh, need to grab my wire cutters. <clears throat> But uh, my MIG tip, my contact tip down in there is kind of wore out, so uh, it does stick sometimes, well, a lot of times when I start welding. I uh, just haven't made it to the store to get another one. There we go. Step back a little bit more.
go. Take my hat off, put my helmet on. And if you guys don't have an auto darkening helmet, especially a solar powered one, you might want to invest in one. They are awesome. down dark enough. There we go. That's one. so I can weld. Not exactly the prettiest job in the world, but that's going to add some extra support and keep that corner from bending back down again. Now we're just going to let it cool for a few minutes naturally. And after it's cooled down, we can put her back together. And I need to clean it up a little bit with a wire brush, but this is flux core, it's not pretty but it is pretty solid. Okay, now I think I'm prepared. I'm gonna lift this up, set it on my leg, grab my short extension, a 9 sixteenths. It's kind of heavy on my leg there. So, go up from underneath. Bolt in. Ah. There we go. That goes on there. That goes there. Hope my fat head's not in the way. That's on there. And the belt that fits this is a half by 96. Uh, you can go by the part number, but you're gonna pay a whole bunch more for the belt. Goes around this way. And we've got 
to pull that out of the way like that. There we go. And then this goes between that pulley and that and it loops around like this. Come on, there we go. And then I've got to take that block there off. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing here? This goes around like that and around that pulley like that, I think. Let me take the slack up, it'll go around the front. We gotta take this slack out of it. Like that. That's how it goes. Alright, that's how the belt goes. Now we can uh, take that block off, loosen this up, move this out of the way so we can put it behind there. And then reinstall the deck. Well, I got it back in there. I just need to put my little blade or my belt guide back on there, bolt it on. But this head's stripped, so I've got to retap that. Not a big issue. Uh, I did make a mistake when I put this together. And I forgot to put the uh, guide on the pulley that I repaired that was supposed to be clocked at the back. So I had to take that back off and put it on there. And the belt actually should be a half inch by 97, not 96. So the belt is a little tight, which means that um, whenever I shut the blade deck off, the blade still slightly spin for a little bit. And then, you know, if you hit grass or something like that, they stop, no big deal. I'll run this half inch by 96 until it wears out and then the pulley stops back here i actually had the belt on the wrong side of those or the uh the blade brakes i had them on the wrong side of those so the belt was too tight but now i've got it fixed <sighs> so we'll put the choke on it's fixed all right guys uh now that it's fixed uh i guess i need to get my butt in gear and do some mowing get my yard mode yeah that's the front yard i get to mow all that and over there all this up here and then i can start on the backyard and the sides of the driveway so i got me a couple hours of mowing to do but, uh, and of course I was working on trimming that because I'm narrowing that down and then I'm going to cut that off like at six feet, uh, which is going to be fun. I got to get my, um, pole saw, my pole pruning saw out to cut the top off of that and then hook my trailer up to this and load the brush up and take it off into the woods and let the deer and all the animals eat the leaves off of it and let the sticks turn into a natural compost out there uh anyway uh thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all later bye